What's up everyone? My name is Dora. And today I'm showing you how to make solid milk bubble bath bottles. Not only are they absolutely adorable, but they're also great for making bubbles. Check out the description for the recipe and lots of helpful information. The titanium dioxide is going to make the water an opaque white, just like milk. You'll notice this is a very dry bubble bar recipe, and that's because the mix has to be dry so it doesn't get stuck in the type of mold that we'll be using, which is a bath bomb mold. Add wet to dry and mix. Then mix it well with your hands. It should feel just like a bath bomb mixture. I'm using this adorable milk bottle mold. I'll link it in the description along with a promo code. I coated the mold with cornstarch. You're gonna fill the mold just like a bath bomb. Fill one side, then pack it. Sprinkle loose mix on top. Repeat for the other side. Then smush the two sides together, making sure that the molds are aligned. Hold the two sides firmly together and fill the hole with mix, packing it well. Now make the bottom as flat as possible. Now repeat for the other hole. Tap both sides with a spoon while gently lifting up until the bar releases. Dry them for 24 hours. During this time, they're fragile, especially by the neck area. There's also a really cute milk carton mold. If you ever have issues with chunk of dust molds, they put out helpful tutorials on each one on their Facebook. To paint the bubble bar, add alcohol, a surfactant, and mica to a cup. If you don't have citric acid in the recipe, you could skip the alcohol, but the alcohol allows the paint to dry faster and therefore not sink in the bubble bar, compromising its structure. Painting the bottle finishes it and it makes it look complete. Paint one area at a time and allow it to dry before painting another area. This should take approximately 20 minutes. Also, always start with your ugliest one to practice on and to try new colors. Speaking of colors, don't limit yourself to gold. I think it'd look really cute in black. I actually regret not painting at least one black. Um, I have extremely shaky hands. I suppose I'm just confident when it comes to painting because I do it a lot. I actually have a, an entire other channel devoted to it. But my point is, is that if I can do it, you can too. 
This recipe makes one and a half bottles, so double it to make three. You can paint a thin or thick bottom rim. The thickness depends on how much was sticking out of the bottom hole when you molded it flat. All in all, I think they came out super cute and adorable. I actually requested this mold as I make a lot of milk themed bath products and Chunk of Dust was gracious enough to make it for me. So a big shout out to them for making that vision come to life. You can package them in a box or make a milk crate for the milk bottles. I used a roller glue, but hot glue would be more stable. Either way, I wouldn't carry them by the handle. That's really just more for show. Then you can shrink wrap everything together or put it in cellophane. This bottle was from an earlier recipe. Chunks kept breaking off and just sat at the bottom of the tub as you'll see in the last clip. This one is from the recipe given and it is 100% reusable. Just be careful as the neck is fragile and will break if held directly under high water pressure like I have. So all together, I used about one bottle to get the amount of bubbles that are created. Thanks for dropping in. I cannot tell you how much I value this channel. It's been such a pleasure and an absolute joy sharing my knowledge with you.